see the pyramids. So this story is from eight hours. Okay, so we keep you together. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. Let's get started. So, uh, so briefly, we are going to Hollywood Boulevard for now, the Hollywood Walk of Fame. After that, we'll go to Sunset Boulevard. We'll go all the way to Beverly Hills. After Beverly Hills, we'll go to Santa Monica. We'll go to the beaches. We'll go to the ocean, the pier. After Santa Monica, we'll come back to the farmer's market and the grove. At the end of the day, we'll go to the hills. We'll go to the Griffith Observatory Park. I'll explain about each stop and town before we approach. Now, is this your first time in LA, everybody? Yeah. Oh, well, we are going to see a lot of places. Look, we're going to do a big loop like this. A big loop and come back to Hollywood and go to the hill. So you see me uh, doing a lot of driving. This is the only way to show you places is to drive. Nothing to do with you. Kick back, relax, enjoy the ride onto the west. This is the Walk of Fame coming up. I'll give you some information here. We are driving on Wilcox Avenue, the man who founded Hollywood in 1957. Correction, 1857. Man, rich man from Kansas, Henry Wilcox. He bought many acres all the way to the hills. His wife, Daida Wilcox, called it Hollywood in 1887 in reference to the English holly trees from a Dutch settlement in Ohio. The entertainment business kicked in at the turn of the century. Life changed forever. This is Nancy Sinatra. Those boots are made for walking. On the right, famous people, famous characters, big mural. They're all dead. Some are still around. <laughs> Some are still around. Woody Allen, Dustin Hoffman, Clint Eastwood, E.T. trying to make a phone call in that little box. He's still around. Oh, yeah. Woody Becker is still alive. Godzilla is still alive. The rest are That little girl sitting on the front row is Shirley Temple. She oh. died a few years ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They filmed a good movie here called La La Land by Ryan Jostling, Emma Stone. Very good movie, musical movie. They used that theater and they showed you that mural. This is the Walk of Fame in case you haven't done any walking before. This is where all the stars are embedded in the oh, sidewalk. So, uh, the, the Walk of Fame. 18 blocks, a mile and a half of stars. España, todo comprende? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Si, si. You have to be a lemon now. Canada, all English, or Palais Francais, or which one do you want to do? Canada, or uh, anything? Oh, okay. Good part. Port Montreal, Quebec. The other side. All right, so the walk of fame. Kobe Bryant, big mural on the left. We lost a good man, whoever died in that crash, sadly, including his daughter. This is, like I said, the stars. Big number, 2,729 stars so far. 271 stars without a name, waiting for a name. They keep adding, they're back in business. During COVID-19, they shut everything down. They did not add a single star. The very first star to appear on the Walk of Fame was given to Joanne Woodward, 1958. Paul Newman's wife, the first star to appear. The last star was given to a rapper called Ipsy Hustle. Man died, they gave him a star, his whole family showed up. Big gathering. In few days, Luciano Pavarotti is getting, is getting a star. The opera man. So they keep adding. Any questions you have about those stars, please let me know. I'll talk about the theaters in a moment. This is the Egyptian theater on the left side. They do a lot of movie premieres, a lot of events here. The Scientology building on the left hand side, one of their buildings, historic landmark. They own many of them on the Walk of Fame, you know, around the surrounding area. Scientology are very powerful people. 
very friendly, don't get me wrong. They give you a brochure, they welcome you, they take you inside the building. Once you're inside, you never come out. You come for it. Be careful. A lot of my friends disappeared. Tom Cruise doesn't want to pick up the phone. To the right, Museum of Illusion. Used to be Fredericks of Hollywood. The lingerie place, like Victoria's Secret. On the right side. The star is still sitting at the entrance. Fredericks of Hollywood. So a lot of landmarks around here, a lot of history around here in the entertainment business. This is where studios lined up, and like I said, at the turn of the century when the entertainment business kicked in. They were filming all over the place, they were filming all over the hills. Anytime you see a placard on the left, on the right, an orange one, number seven, on the left, number 39, a red one, it gives you a little bit of history that, about the building you're passing. Like this one on the right, the white one was the first nightclub in Hollywood where Charlie Chaplin, for example, used to park. The wax museum, many of them, we have so many of them. Uh, you know, this is where you pay money and look at wax. <laughs> on the left, the Guinness World Record used to be the second cinema house in Hollywood. Back in the 30s, the admission was two cents. You please believe it or not, on the left, Spider-Man first movie was filmed in a tall building on the right. The first national film. Big closure tomorrow. If you're in town, leave town. Get away from here. They're going to shut this whole thing down. You see those plastic barriers on the left? They're going to shut down the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Sunset Boulevard, Santa Monica. They're doing the big festival. Now, this is the main intersection in Hollywood. It's called Highland Avenue. When they do the Oscars, they close everything down. Ten days. No people, no businesses, no floors, nothing. No, not, not at all. Only red carpet and 4,000 people, famous people, walking on the red carpet here for the Oscars. I'll show you what they do. This is a mall on the right called the Hollywood and Highland Mall. On the left, El Capitan Theater, where they premiere Disney movies only. El Capitan Theater. The Dolby Theater on the right, where they, premiere, where they do the Oscars, Academy Awards on the right side. American Idol finales, America Got Talent finales also at the top. I'm making a stop for you. This is the Chinese theater. Han Prince, for Prince of Famous People. This is where you'll find them. This is where they do the biggest movie premieres in the world. And now we're selling hot dogs and hamburgers over famous people's stores. I'm so proud of myself. Looks like a third world talk. This is never here before. You see that? Vendors all over the place? What is this? Those are famous people's stores. The city is not paying attention. They keep saying, we'll clean it up. They're going to do a big makeover, but it's taking forever. During COVID-19, things got out of control. It was a lot of tanks all over the place. Homeless people, useless people. It was very, very sad. So this is the Chinese theater. This is Madame Tissot Wax Museum. On the left side, the Roosevelt Hotel, where they do a lot of famous events. The Roosevelt Hotel. It was built in 1927 on the left side. This is where they did the very first Oscar award in 1929 on the left side. The first Oscar award. I'm supposed to drop you off here. I don't see a spot for this big ship, big bus. So I'm going to have to manage. If you don't find me here when you get back, I'll come back around. I'll go around the, the block and meet you right here. So you want to walk around and take pictures of the stars, right? Okay, so we'll do 20 minutes, let's say 10.45 sharp, we'll meet right here. Is that okay with everybody? Yeah. 10.45. This bus is departing at 10.45. Everything in there is $5 except for the hoodies. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Everything is $5. I want this. You know him? Yeah. We have a limited tour today. This is your chance to see the entire theater. Don't miss your chance. Tickets are available for the tour at the front door.
ladies we call them. This is supposed to be five. Marilyn Monroe disappeared. She was sitting on top above the word Hollywood. There was a bronze statue of Marilyn Monroe for more than 25, 30 years. A few years ago, a crazy guy went up there with a saw. He managed to chop it off. He spent about two weeks. Every night we thought he was polishing the statue. He was smiling all the time. At night he went to work until he managed to take it away. He got caught. Tried, after a few months, tried to sell it for big money. They were trying to smuggle it outside the country. So they put him in jail for five years. The judge gave him good five years. We didn't see him anymore. Now, they have the statue at the Chamber of Commerce. One day they'll bring it back and secure it on top. This was a tribute to famous women in the movie industry. Marilyn Monroe is coming back. Dorothy Dandridge. Dolores del Rio, and May Roman, May West. There's a big star for Elvis Presley behind those silver lakes. And another song for the beast. With Tangas, you can see the ground because it was covered by a big tent. Somebody turned this place into a little house. Some homeless people took over. Now it's gone. We'll proceed. We'll go down to Sunset Boulevard. I have a lot of places to talk about on Sunset Boulevard. That's it. It will take us to Beverly Hills, Sunset Boulevard. It's funny, it's the moment of our day. Sunset Boulevard is West Beverly Hills. I'll do my best to make a stop for you in Beverly Hills. I'll show you how we do it. You see a synagogue on the left side. Famous actress, a Hollywood legend, Elizabeth Taylor. Married husband number four here, Elizabeth Taylor. All the way to the top, the Iron Man's mansion. Three movies, they showed you the same house up there, the circular house, a película, Iron Man. Okay, you remember that movie? Remember that movie? So, the lady who owned that hill, who owned the house, decided to demolish the house. She dismantled it. She's building something else up there. God knows what it is. Her name is uh, Megan Allison. Her father is Larry Allison, fourth richest man in the world. So the Iron Man mansion is gone. <coughs> Sorry. What is that? You're insane. That's a nice statue. Oh, so they'll steal it. Someone will pick it up. Someone will take it away. Let's go down this way, a little street here. I'll show you something. So something is happening up there. She's building something. People are saying she's going to put back the Iron Man where it belongs, but we are still don't know. <coughs> they filmed a good movie here on a pinnacle on a scale. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, if you remember, Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, filming location. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, that house. These people, the owners, they don't work no more. Their cars are always covered. You see them filming. They made a lot of money from them. Yeah. Every now and then you see them filming in their house. <coughs> on Halloween night they shut down the street only the residents can get in they don't want people to come here because they filmed a, a scary movie here so people want to see those houses where they filmed uh, a movie called Halloween the first one, 1978 Michael Myers remember. they filmed a two houses here. one on the right that one Halloween, a película Halloween was filmed here they filmed in another house on the left, the one with the white balcony. Oh. See that? Oh, no. Jamie Lee Curtis was in that movie. <coughs> and she was in the very last movie, Halloween Kills.
Now we're going to Baton Sibley. Uh, this is another scary movie called A Nightmare on Elm Street. We're filmed straight down on that street. We lose a lot of time. We don't want to go there. And we're not allowed to go down there anyway. A Nightmare on Elm Street. So both streets will be shut down on Halloween night. This is Sunset Boulevard, 34 miles of driving from downtown LA to the left all the way to the ocean. We call it the Sunset Strip because of the gangster, the mafia people who owned businesses here many years ago. El area para el mafioso and this. Mafioso, Sunset Strip, like, like Vegas Strip. Yeah. So up there, see now it's clear. The Iron Man mansion is gone. Big and Allison having fun up there. The Directors Guild of America on the left for movie screening, television show screening, all the time on the left side. Directors Guild of America. Not too long ago, we saw Michelle Pfeiffer with uh, Viola Davis. They were doing a show screening uh, called The First Lady. The Laugh Factory on the right, on the corner, most famous stand-up comedy, most famous comedians that do stand-up comedy here, a staging point for many of them. Like Betty White, who uh, sadly passed away a couple of months ago, Betty White did her stand of comedy here. Richard Pryor, Paul Mooney, David Letterman, Whoopi Goldberg, Roseanne, Jay Leno, Will Ferrell, Kevin Hart, Jim Carrey. They all started here, to give you some example. Chris Rock, uh, uh, the man who didn't see it coming. Poor guy, Chris Rock. Yeah. From now on, they're going to have Dwayne Johnson. The Rock, he will host the Oscars. Let's see who's going to slap <laughs> very famous hotel on the right is called the Chateau Marmont. This is a landmark built in 1927. Chateau Marmont. This is where John Belushi died. He was 33 years old. Oh, right here. Harry Hilton used to party here with the Kardashian girls when they used to work for her. They were not partying with her. They used to be around her. Kim Kardashian used to work for Paris Hilton. Oh yeah. That's how it started as a job. She was a personal assistant. And then she used to bring her sisters, Paris Hilton, like those girls, she gave them a job, all of them. <coughs> With that to Paris Hilton, uh, now it's, uh, they are the most famous girls in the world. Kim Kardashian is worth 1.4 billion dollars as we speak. What did she do? God no. So, uh, yeah. now they're all busy. Paris Hilton disappeared for years, now she's married. Uh, the Kardashian girls are busy getting married, getting divorced every day, uh, having babies every day. So different lifestyle. Thanks to Lindsay Lohan, of course, Nicole Richie, Nicole Hilton, they were behind the big campaign to make the Kardashian girls famous. This is Pink Tongue. Uh, this is uh, what used to be the Roxbury, a very famous nightclub, the Roxbury. Madonna used to party here. They filmed a good movie here called Nights on the Roxbury. Very good movie. All right, so uh, this was the gangland of LA. We are in West Hollywood, Boxy Siegel. Mafia man used to own a lot of businesses around here. Uh, he, the man who was assassinated in Beverly Hills, not Las Vegas. On the left side, you see the Standard Hotel. It shut down sadly. Uh, they lost business during the pandemic. Leonardo DiCaprio became one of the partners here on the left. He said, it looks like a ship, like the Titanic. I want it. So they lost business here. At night with the blue lights, it resembles a ship. It used to be a nursing home for the gangsters of LA uh, with their families. Little train on the right, Carnage Express, been here since 1931. A, a playground for famous rock stars, including Elvis Presley. Now it's a fast food train. Uh, Jack Nicholson's favorite restaurant on the right, Western restaurant called Sadder Ranch. Open later on and for dinner. Uh, there's a tall building on the left, Art Deco building, mm -hmm. built in 1927. This was a luxury apartment building here. Lily glassed off the bottom. They cannot replace this, their place is glassed no more. So uh, this is uh, where Howard Hughes, for example, kept his girlfriend with an S. Another famous place for stand-up comedy, the comedy store on the right. Most famous comedians, you see their names all over the world. Para Comedia también, uh, on the right side, see? All those big names, Eddie Murphy and uh, Paul Shore, Sammy Shore, the owner, sadly passed away. We lost some good people like Bob Saget, like Louis Anderson, uh, Gilbert Gottfried also died. So. We miss a lot of people here. Let's go to Sunset Plaza. 
Oh, wow, a little chilly. I got to bring my jacket. This is cold for us in LA. Cold, yeah, we're not used to that. Yeah. Kobe Bryant, another mural on the right side. Pink Taco. I'm sorry, Pink Dog, I meant. Uh, they filmed a good movie here called uh, Hancock by Will Smith. Hancock. Yeah, they did uh, the, uh, a couple of scenes in that store. This is where we usually see the rich and famous. This is called Sunset Plaza. Fancy cars, fancy restaurants, fancy people. Everything is fancy. At night, it's a different world, you know. You see paparazzis roaming around the place if they know that someone famous is coming here. Yeah, you see a place called Mel's on the right. Mel's right here. This place should be a landmark now. Been here over 70 years. Marilyn Monroe's favorite restaurant. They still have big pictures in black and white of Marilyn Monroe all over the wall. I'm sorry, all over the walls. Yeah, in, in black and white, driving her own car. So uh, this is Mel's. Uh, a famous reality show called Selling Sunset. On the left side, you see the Oppenheim group. You see that of Selling Sunset. If you're a comedian, very famous reality show nowadays. This area is called uh, the Birdland. Up there, those hills. We used to cover those hills. We used to go up there. Not anymore. Leonardo DiCaprio, Jodie Foster. Uh, names like uh, Meryl Streep, Keanu Reeves, they're all up there. So beautiful restaurants, you can tell. You get busy later on. And now, the 60s, the 70s, the psychedelic era. Famous clubs, famous venues. On the left side, there's a big hotel, big white hotel called the London Grand Hotel. Chef Ramsey from England, Gordon Ramsey used to air a show from that hotel called Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen it started from that hotel. That big white building. We see the Viper Room on the left, it used to be owned by the Mafia people, it was called Filthy McNasty. And then it became the Pussycat Club and then became the Viper Room when Johnny Depp bought it. Johnny Depp played his own guitars over here, especially with Alice Cooper. So, River Phoenix sadly died on the sidewalk. A young actor collapsed on the sidewalk October of 93. It was very sad. Whiskey Agogo on the right. This is a landmark built in 1964. Jim Morrison, the doors used to be the house of pain. So, the music business, Kiss, Sled, Dead Zappin, Van Halen, Guns N' Roses. I would take a picture of that. This is a landmark here. So. Uh, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, uh, uh, names like Motley Crue, the Red Hot Chili Pepper, uh, uh, Queen, Rush, ACDC, the, the Who, the Monkees. Big number of famous bands started their career from this location here. They played this venue here. The Whiskey Agogo. We have another famous club called the Roxy coming up on the right. Yeah, 1973. Exotic cars on the right. People rent them, they drive them around Beverly Hills like little toys in the window. Give them my name, you get a discount. They knock off $3 on that. On the the problem is here. Don't give them my name, please. They'll kick you out. All right, this is the Roxy. In 1975, Bruce Springsteen did a breakthrough concert. What mass importante, I think. The, B, uh, the Rolling Stone, beat another place. Bob Dylan played the Roxy. Elton John, uh, named like, what well, played it? David Bowie. Now they have, uh, big pictures inside. This is the Rainbow Bar and Grill. Most famous rock stars used to hang out here at the Rainbow. They still have the picture. They have their names engraved on the wall. You can tell. You can see Elvis. You can see Bob Dylan. Sleep with Mac. Cheryl Crow. Her name is here. Chris Bond. Uh, uh, Queen. Porn. Led Zeppelin. See? This is a lot of memories here. They call it the memory walk. Marilyn Monroe went on a blind date with the man she married, Joe DiMaggio, in the, at, right here at the Rainbow Bar and Grill. Now this uh, this was a very famous club, Otro Famoso. This is uh, the uh, used to be the key club. It was the Bill Gazzari's club in the past, the father of rock and roll, and then it became the key club. Then it became One Oak. A, a rapper got shot here. His name was what? Shug Knight. Shug Knight, a rapper. A guy shot him 14 times. He didn't die. 14 times. Yeah, he's used to it, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, he just stood next to him and boom, 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 put the hand. Anyway, he reloaded him. Shot him again. Oh, the guy stood there. All right, shoot again. So he ended up in jail, I guess, this guy. His name is Shug Knight. He got in trouble. He ran over somebody in a parking lot. Yeah. And a rap, they killed a rapper yesterday in Beverly Hills. Yeah. They shoot at each other for fun, I guess. I don't know. All right, we're turning left. We'll go down. You see two apartment buildings on the right. Marilyn Monroe, I mentioned her name. Lived in 18 different addresses, one after the other. Her first place of president, Marilyn Monroe, in that building on the right. 1015 North Dohini Drive. Her name was Norma Jean Mo Sorry, I love you too. Yeah, don't worry about them, I have a lot of friends around here. So on the right, this, this address went down in history books. Norma Jean Mortensen originally became the Marilyn Monroe. She was young, she lived here with her mother, first place of residence. After that, lived in many hotels, lived in different houses, until she died in an apartment in Brentwood, a city after Beverly Hills, Brentwood, where everyone dies. Now we'll proceed to Beverly Hills. How much of Beverly Hills? Different world here. Notice it's so green in Beverly Hills. They have water, a lot of water. They have a lot of reservoirs. More money, more water. In LA, we don't have water. Shortage of water, six years. No humidity, no, no, no moisture, no rain. It never rains in Southern California. Well, Beverly Hills is part of Southern California, but they have their own system. You'll notice on the spot. Little park here, I call it the Nannies Park. Monday to Friday, before 11 in the morning, the biggest number of nannies in Beverly Hills will come here. They'll get together here. Gossip, information, whatever you need to know about any house, come sit next to the nannies and listen. Yeah, you'll learn a lot about this area. They don't talk politics here. They talk about houses. The Nannies Park. You see a sign on the right. It marks the border to Beverly Hills, where TMZ is taking pictures. On the right side. Another direction. Let's read the Beverly Hills, see it? Is it doable for everybody? 90210, Beverly Hills. The show that was never filmed in Beverly Hills. Oh, I blew it. <laughs> Sorry, not a single scene was filmed in Beverly Hills. We watched it for 10 years. Everything was filmed somewhere else. All right. We have a sign on the right. Let's see if we can get it. Otro vez, a la derecha, the historic Route 66, from Chicago to the ocean, Route 66, see, right here. Later on the pier you see a sign saying, end of trail Route 66, right here, on the right. Might be difficult for some of you, do your best, if not, I have another sign later. Four or five states, you'll be in Chicago, behind. All right, welcome to Beverly Hill, right side, 90210, zip code. Nice and green, cameras, lights, lively. On the left, Los Angeles zip code 90048, dry and ugly. No lights, no cameras, no nothing. And they just put this belt of trees and a fence to cover the dirt. This is Beverly Hill, this is LA. You see the difference? Money on the right, no money on the left. I live here, I live on the left. I don't live here. Not here, I live on the left. Two different zip codes. I'm telling you, there's a big difference here. If you see any homeless person or people, uh, please let me know. I want to take pictures. With them. Yeah, uh, they don't have homeless people. Maybe four or five. They clock in, clock out. They don't spend the night in the park. They're not allowed. This is a very strict city. They know them one by one. Even the air quality is better here. Yeah, you take a deep breath, you smell money. Yeah, money to run out. 
you see fancy car? What is that car? What is that? It's Bentley. It's a Bugatti. Bentley. A Bugatti. You got a Bugatti, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. See, I'm asking because I might want to buy one of them. Yeah. Three, two million dollars, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> now, we'll see a police station on the left, followed by a city hall, tall building, like a, a cathedral, a la izquierda, por favor, the Department of Policy, aquí. City hall, tall building. This is where Eddie Murphy was made famous in a movie called Beverly Hills Cop, part one, part two. Filmed in those two locations on the net. Fancy luxury police station here. If I ever want to go to jail, I want to come here. One day. Yeah. I heard they have the best food and they dress you up from Rodea Drive. They don't have Walmart around here. They don't even have McDonald's in Beverly Hills. No Burger King. Lindsay Lohan can write a book about this police station. She was seen here many times. Lindsay Lohan. They still have pictures all over the place, on file, not on the wall. Anytime or every time she crashed her car, Lindsay Lohan ended up here, whether in Beverly Hills or outside of Beverly Hills. Her favorite place. When Lindsay Lohan lived in London, England, for a long time, it was safe for everyone, because she likes driving on the other side of the road. She's back in town, God help us. She's back to acting, I hope she's not back to driving. So this is the city hall old building. You see it now. And this is the Wallace Annenberg Center for the Performing Arts on the left side. They do a lot of events here. I like that something is happening here. I don't know what it is. Maybe related to that parade. No, no. They got, Beverly Hills got nothing to do with that parade. Something is happening here. I don't have any information. I'm sorry. But I know they do the Vanity Fair here on the Oscar night. This is more important than the Oscar. All those famous people you see on the Oscar will have to come to the Vanity Fair first after park. And then they go to different after park. Now this place used to be a post office on the left where they're doing an event. The only post office in the world that came with a valet parking. Yeah, you come here to buy a stamp, 55 cents. Yeah, they charge you $20 to park your car. A little stamp will cost you 20.55. Right here. Used to be a post office. You see a peace sign on the right. Uh, this was a tribute to Ringo Starr from the Beatles. The peace sign. His wife Barbara commissioned that. Stay on the right. Beautiful pictures. Went a photo I keep. But at Palmas. With palm trees. Where are they? Here they are. Stay on the right. Another historic food sign 66. Beverly Hills sign in the park. Yeah. Big trees here were brought here from Australia, from New Zealand. Some of them are 200 years old, like this tree on the right, the good luck tree, La Rubella, 200 años, from Australia, Morton Bay fig tree. They call it the good luck tree, I don't know why. Good luck tree. good luck. We'll turn left on Beverly Drive. Very good picture. Palm tree. TMZ in front of me, celebrity tour, there's no celebrities around here, even on the other tours that we do, we point at a house, she used to live here, he used to live here, they all left Beverly Hills, we talk about history here, when we do the other tours, so don't expect to see a famous person living on the main road, it's impossible, it doesn't happen no more, in the past, yes, Many of them used to be around this area because it's close to the Beverly Hills Hotel, the Pink Palace, up the road to the right. 
where they used to get together all the time. A lot of memories, a lot of history there. But I'll show you another hotel which is a landmark all the time. What I'm trying to say, tour buses cannot see actual celebrities' homes. Things are not the same. They're all behind gates, hiding away from paparazzis, from the public, from tour buses. All of them are behind gates. We take people on the hills, we show gates and walls and trees. For real. That's a media center on the right. A lot of guys here. Yeah. We'll go down to Wilshire Boulevard. We'll see the Beverly Wilshire Hotel, a landmark built at the turn of the century. So Rodea Drive is parallel on the other side. We will see it. I have a plan, hopefully, and we'll work out. We'll work out. Take pictures of Dubai first for seven, eight. God help you, sir. God help you. God help. Okay. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll make sure I'll stop. Yeah. Appointments only, Louis. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll stop. But it's appointments only. A lady from from Kansas one time jumped out of the bus. I was driving on a day driving a small bus. With this one, we cannot go there. Anyway, she jumped out. She took her husband's wallet. <laughs> the guy was shocked. He said, you know what? Leave her. She'll take a taxi. Back then there was no Uber, no Lyft. She said, he'll, she'll take a taxi back to the hotel. And then I was going around the block. Five minutes later, she called him up. Uh, we came back and we picked her up. She bought a purse for $5,500. We sold the receipt. She said, I saved a lot of money. The guy was like, he almost had a heart attack. He met. <laughs> In Kansas, you know, I said, that I make this in like six months, come on. So uh, I felt bad for him. She was so happy. I said, let me see that purse. It was a little purse like this. The smaller, the more money it is, I heard. $5,500 for a, a, a purse. They have, they have purses for seven, eight thousand dollars I heard. You see them? Louis Vuitton. I will go down I will go to the outlets, save a lot of money. Avra, very good food here, Avra. Come on, Tianzi, you're too loud. They have good Greek food here. I'm not saying that because I'm Greek, but uh, they have very good food. Avra, you see a lot of people here later, but no famous people, they don't come here. It's, it's too exposed, open. You see a beautiful hotel on the left. This is the Montage Hotel. Montage. No name mark, no history here at the Montage. No famous people whatsoever on the left side. I'm jealous. Yeah. Hi. No answer. <laughs> Hi. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Even dogs don't bark around here. All right. <clears throat> this is the Beverly Wiltshire Hotel. A landmark built at the turn of the century. Biggest number of famous people lived in that hotel in the past, including Elvis Presley. Now it's touristic. Now you, now you never see a famous, single famous person here. They go to another hotel called the Beverly Pink Palace, or Beverly Hills Hotel. We call it Pretty Woman's Hotel. I keep in mind Pretty Woman, La Mujer Bonita. Time. The entourage and decent proposal, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. So Julia Roberts came out from the center door or, get, or entrance. She went shopping on Rodeo Drive, right? They have a couple of <coughs> drinks in that restaurant, they call it Pretty Woman's Drink, $28 a shot. You drink two, you don't want to stand up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you sit down. This is Villa Rodeo, on the right, little opening. They have identical stores from Milano, Italy. 
Uh, and they, they filmed a good movie here called Clueless, Alicia Silverstone, 1995. Una película aquí, Clueless. Yeah, cool uh, this is a fountain. Uh, some of you might remember that from a show when my mother watched that show for years. The Bold and the Beautiful. That fountain. They showed you that in the beginning and at the end. To the right, this is Rodeo Drive. It's a moment. Rodeo Drive. Louis Vuitton on the left. Beautiful stores. <laughs> Flashing machine in the center waiting for me to make a right turn when I get in big trouble. We're not allowed to go on a big bus. Not even TMZ. No one can go there on a tour bus. Rodeo Drive. Let me see if the plan will work first. Hold on. Perfect. All right, I'm making a stop here. So you can get down if you like. Walk on the street, you go to the center. You see all those beautiful stores? Take pictures of the hotel. You see a statue with no head, no arms, no legs. I'll tell you about that when you get back. So what do you think? What do you think? You want to get down, take pictures? Is anyone excited or you don't care? Okay, we, we don't make a stop here, but hey, we don't do this every day. All right, so let's say the time now is 11.20. We meet at 11.40, maximum 11.45. Okay, take a lot of pictures, I'll be waiting.